Welcome everyone to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to bring you information on healthy living, featuring those who make a healthy living lifestyle possible. I'm your host, Fred Zucker, coming to you from the campus of Parker University in Dallas, Texas. Our special guest today is Dr. Bill Morgan, president of Parker University. Welcome, Dr. Morgan. Thank you, Fred. Glad you could be here. Dr. Morgan, your first year anniversary of presidency is coming up in just a couple of short months. Yeah, just one month. Is it one month? Hard to believe. During that relatively short time, Dr. Morgan has led us through three Parker seminars in Dallas, in Las Vegas, and most recently in Baltimore, Maryland. You've been through a number of trustee meetings and other speaking engagements and other activities too numerous to mention. That's sort of the backdrop to what we're talking about today, and that is the the 85th Texas Legislative Session, which is now drawing down to its final days in Austin, Texas. And there are several bills that have a great deal of importance for chiropractors. Certainly. And you have been right there leading the charge, point of the spear. Give us an update. When I took this job, I didn't know I was in for this big legal battle. It definitely was not in the brochure that they... They didn't give that in the brochure? (laughs) A small print, maybe? The last four months, we have been fighting for our life here in Texas um, with basically there's something called the Sunset Commission that that takes place that every 12 years, all commissions in the state of Texas are sunset. They go away unless there's a purpose to keep them. They're designed to do away with unnecessary bureaucracy, which I'm in favor of. The sunset bill this time was, would take away the, if it, if it was allowed to sunset, would take away the chiropractic board of examiners. Another thing that took place, and there was a convergence of several different issues that the, our adversaries and medical lobby went after us with. Our good friends. In addition to trying to take away our ability to treat diagnose or to treat neurological conditions, including subluxation, they, it's their opinion that we should not diagnose. So we've done a lot of heavy lifting. Parker has been very active in lobbying and testifying. I've gone down to Austin three times to testify. Last time I went, I brought my good friend, Dr. Rob Rosenbaum, a neurosurgeon, down to testify. We've done, we've testified in the Senate committee, the joint, the joint committees, and we've, we finally have got this out of committee, and it's going to go to a vote hopefully this week this in the week. House. They must know you by first name. Oh, my goodness. Point. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they're getting tired, tired of hearing from, from me. But we go down there quite a bit, and it, thus far we've had victory after victory, and i just like to thank Tice Herger and Jeff Jenkins and the and our crew down at um, the TCA who we've worked with and they, right. they put us before these legislators and, it, and it help us to prepare us for, for our testimonies but for the most part it's it's pretty self-evident right um, we've had some of the some of the uh, the senators you know put this at one point put the exact same language two senators unbeknownst to each other put amendments with the exact same language in them right. in it and that, and that language is obviously put put together by a third party. Exactly. And it was going to say, take away chiropractor's ability to d- diagnose neur- neurological conditions, musculoskeletal conditions, um, GI conditions, respiratory conditions. And when I, after I read everything in there, I realized that they must think that we must be lymph doctors because that was the only that was system the only they, left. <laughs> that was the only system they didn't, they didn't take away from us. So I guess they think that we treat the lymph system. So, yeah. Well, it seems to me that we have made a remarkable progress and as we mentioned earlier, I mean, we're drawing down. The bills have to be heard by May 24th, and the last day of the session is May 29th. So I suppose these things are moving as they should, but they've got to get to the, the governor's desk to be signed until I'm, we know for sure. We are not going to c- count our chickens before they're hatched. No. We are watching this with bated breath, and I'm prepared to go down there and testify at a moment's notice. It's, I know, you're it's, in short string, ready we, to last run down week, there. We went with a, a day's notice right. to get to that committee. And uh, this is not a battle we're going to lose. We're going to win this battle. Yeah. No, and, and the other thing that's fascinating to me is it's not just Texas that's interested in this. It's the entire nation. In fact, the entire world is looking at Texas to see what happens here. Because whatever happens here will certainly be a, a light on the future of what will be done with chiropractic in every other state. If things and, go against yeah. us. Ralph Waldo Emerson had a quote. Now, I'll, I'll butcher this. But he essentially says that nature will not protect that which will not protect itself. Right. We have to protect ourselves. Absolutely, we have to get out there and fight like, like, like crazy to make sure that we uh, we win this battle. We are going to win it, yeah. and pretty much most of the legislators legislators who have heard us, it's self evident. Right, it's it's almost like they roll their eyes when they see what 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 our adversaries are trying to do to us. Right, and I th- we've been down this path before. This is not the first mm-hmm. time. I'm sure it won't be the last. 
But I know that one of the things we're hoping to do is sort of go off the defensive and go on the offensive in the times when we're not in session to make sure we're doing the right things all the way through. Well, right now we're following the TCA lead as we go forward with this, but the day this legislative this le- legislative session ends, we're starting the, the, our strategy for the next time. Right. And we need to go out there. And the people who, who advocated against us, I want to invite them to Parker. Absolutely. Look at what we're doing. What is it that we're lacking? Right. We should be working together for the benefit of the patient, mm-hmm. not fighting each other. Oh, true. When, one of the senators, when I told her that it, that a chiropractor takes a, the, a minimum of seven years of education to become a chiropractor, she didn't understand that. She, she was a medical know. doctor. She'd never heard that. Right. And we know that only 20% of the U.S. population understands the rigor that chiropractors go through to get their education. It's one of our greatest challenges, make sure people know that. And, and we want to educate to that, and I want to bring those legislators onto campus, show them our education, have them go through our labs, and, you know, and basically see, see you know, un- right. understand what's going on. Right. And that way they would know we're their allies. We're not their enemies. We should not be adversarial. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Well, what can we do to help? What can our listeners and viewers do to help? Well, we've got a few things to do. Is is if you're in Texas, I recommend becoming a, a TCA member. Definitely. Most Texan chiropractors are not TCA. There is strength in numbers, and we need to be able to get the vote out. We also, when things pop up, we want to be able to communicate that out out to right. our patients. Our patients are our secret weapon. Definitely, definitely. Um, we want to do that. We also have those who who would like. It's not too late to contribute to the chiropractic development initiative through the TCA. And to the TCA's political action committee, um, we, and also just to be involved as a as a professional, it's our job. Part of right. be, part of being a master clinician is to be an advocate for our patients. That's right. Your job as a chiropractor is to advocate, and to and to basically expand chiropractic, right. and to expand all drug free options, and, and especially chiropractic. It, that we know that if you go to a chiropractor for a condition, you're much less likely to get surgery or to be on opiates. That's right. So we, we have we have a, a drug-free option, which we will hope you at Parker want to keep drug-free Absolutely. as we move forward and, you know, to treat neurological conditions. We, we're not bone doctors, we're nerve doctors. That's right. And the opioid addiction crisis we're going through right now is the perfect thing for chiropractic to be involved in, to people, for people to know that we have the drug-free option, like you said. To me, that's the story. I mean, that's a wonderful story mm-hmm. that Again, I don't think that most people understand we offer the drug-free option for pain relief. But that may be coming out of this. That's what I'm hoping, that we build a momentum that doesn't stop with the thing is over. But one thing I'm pretty sure you're going to agree with me that when these things are signed, there will be a celebration. Oh, yeah. It's, I won't take a breath. You know, I won't rest until we have this, this done. On the 29th of May, it's done. We'll take a breath. Take we'll, a breath. We'll see what we did right, what we did wrong, and, and basically start planning for next time. That's and right. start contacting those who, who are, are, I'm going to start with our adversaries. Bring them Bring, on campus. I think that's a great idea. Let's get. Let's make them our friends, our allies. We well, should be. Well, they should be embarrassed to put put some of those bills together. The, the one amendment was so ridiculous that even other medical doctors on on the on the Senate yeah. committee were like, oh, I'm sure they were wincing. Yeah, they, were, mm. they were grimacing over yeah. that. Why, why did we do that? That sounds bad. Well, we certainly appreciate your leadership, Dr. Morgan. The fact that you're here helping us with this, with your background, your connections, just your presence, uh, I know that it has made a difference, will continue to make a difference. We really appreciate that. I'd like to remind everybody that Senate Bill 304 was proposed by Senator Van Taylor. Good friend of ours. A friend of ours. Yes, and sir. we want to support him in his endeavors in the future. Definitely. But also, it looks very promising that this is going to pass, that we're going to get diagnosis included in our in the statute. Which is, a, um, which is an improvement. Which Yeah, which is an improvement. So that is important. There's other things out there. The ability to to um, join together with medical doctors and professional right. associations. That's Senate Bill uh, 679 by ha- Hancock. That's important too. I'm not as... In, I, my major thrust has been diagnosis and neurological right. Right. Um, payments. Also, um, House Bill 1649, um, which is post-payment audits and ex, 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 uh, extrapolation Another bill, um, there's a sports medicine bill, House Bill 3024 by Price, authorizes chiropractors to remove a student athlete who've, who's been injured, and also to be on the, the another bill, House Bill 3206, the Combat Sports Advisory Board. And oh, one, one last one is a notification of right to choose um, a chiropractor and workers' comp, and that's House Bill 3702. Those are all important bills. All important bills. 
304 is the, my baby, though. 304, is, that, that's the big one. That's the one that Parker's gotten behind, and we have fought tooth and nail for that and put everything everything behind that bill, and it looks like it's going to pass. Well, we're excited about the prospect of all this being behind us and preparing for the future. And you can't do anything better than that except to take care of today mm-hmm. to make sure that tomorrow is even better. And we'd like to thank all of our friends from around the country and around the world who've come to our aid. Um, some Some came up. And helped us. Others looked the other way, right. and we asked we we asked our friends to come forward, and our friends did step forward. Absolutely, they certainly did. Well, it's great to have you on the program again, Dr. Morgan. Thank you for the update on this. This is a very important issue. We ask you to tune in again. We'll probably have another update after all this is said and done, and in the record books and in the law books. And we are sure that we'll be able to get, convey the the final word on the good news. So please tune in again for more to your health. Thank you.